Does prognosis of AML vary by age? Uh, so yes and no. So let me answer that in, in kind of two steps. So it does in the sense that older patients are more likely to have more comorbidities, so more medical problems, and so therefore have a higher likelihood of having complications. And also, um, as patients get older, they acquire more mutations and more abnormalities, so those molecular abnormalities. And so therefore, older patients then become more challenging to treat as well. Mm -hmm. um, what I would say, though, is that we typically risk stratify based on molecular factors, um, so the different mutations somebody has, and the age and the comorbidities don't necessarily play into that role of risk stratification. So, for example, whether or not you're receiving a transplant or not. Age is a factor if you're kind mm -hmm. of in that middle risk category, the intermediate risk category. The other thing I would say is that for young patients, um, they are able to tolerate because many don't have medical problems. So they are able to tolerate treatment better. So when I'm talking about numbers and likelihood of response and overall survival, those, all those medians assume that somebody is in their mid sixties. And so I adjust the numbers because for younger patients that those numbers are likely higher because they're mm -hmm. less likely to have complications.